folks, this is Mr. Math Blog here, and this lesson is adding fractions using some models. So this is lesson 7 in our book, 7.3, sorry. So the common core is uh, here we're going to use our prior knowledge on operations of whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. Whoops, I have one too many periods in there. Can you see that right there? Let me get that out of there, and I'll save it later. Okay, let me take that guy out of there. Okay, so the essential question is, how can we add fractions with the same denominator using models? Okay, you guys by now know that I make lots of mistakes as I'm going along. I, my kids catch me all the time in my classroom, so uh, I'm used to it. So anyway, so here we go. So Mrs. Viegas uh, bought some ju uh, brought some juice to school. She uses one-eighth of the container before school and five-eighths of the container at lunch. So how much did she use uh, before school and at lunch. Okay, so there's a couple things we're going to do. One way is we're going to use a picture here. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, use this uh, as my model for this uh, carton right here, and I'm going to cut it up into eight equal pieces right here because there she did one eighth and five eighths. Okay, so one eighth, I'm right here, one eighth is uh, one eighth size of the container, and five eighths is five eighth size of the container. Okay. All right, so what I want you to do now, or just think about now, is we're going to shade uh, uh, the one uh, eight size uh, piece of the container. So I'm going to shade this little dude down here, okay? And then we're going to shade uh, five of them, five of the eight size container on top of the one. So I'm going to shade five more going up on top of the one, okay? So I color coded these. All right, so here's this guy. I did the one in purple, and then I did the five in red right there. Do you see that right there? Okay. So there's two left over on top that didn't get uh, didn't get uh, drinking up. Okay, so Mrs. Viegas used, how many did she use, you guys? She used one, two, three, four, five, six. She used six eighth size of the container, or six eighths of the container. Okay, uh, how's that, you guys? You okay? All right, so uh, another way is to use a uh, fraction strip. So uh, hopefully you guys are familiar with fraction strips. If not, we'll just use this one right here, you guys. So uh, the one strip represents the whole container juice. So this is my whole container juice right here. And each one-eighth part uh, represents a one-eighth size part of the juice, okay? So uh, the denominator tells me what size of the parts to cut it up equally. So I'm cutting them up into eight equal pieces right here, okay? So um, uh, shade uh, one-eighth for the morning she drank, and then shave, shave, uh, shade the five-eighths, sorry, I stuttered a little bit, uh, for the afternoon or for the lunchtime, okay? So there's uh, the one-eighth in blue, and there's the five-eighths in red right here. So if you add those up, that still adds up to six of the eighths, okay? You guys with me? So how many one-eighth size uh, parts were shaded? Six of them. So what's the sum of one-eighth plus five-eighths? Well, six-eighths is. That's easy enough. So Mrs. Viegas used six-eighths of the container, okay? All right, so... What else do I have? So explain how the numerator um, uh, of the sum is related to the fraction strips models. Okay, well the numerator is just the total number of the shaded eight size parts because we had the fraction strip divided up into eight size parts and so the numerator was just all the each each of the eight size parts shaded right there, okay? So explain how the denominator of the sum is related to the fraction strips. Well the denominator just tells the size of the parts. We cut it up into eight equal parts, so they are all one-eighth of the size. So explain why one-eighth plus five-eighths does not equal six-sixteenths. I have a lot of students that want to add the numerators and add the denominators. You don't add the denominators. You get common denominators, and you just add the numerators. So what do I say here? So when you add fractions, you only add the numerators. The denominators stay the same because the size of the parts, which is the denominators, won't change, you guys, because we have eight size parts plus another five eight size of parts. It doesn't give me sixteenth size of a parts. So it's still an eighth size of a parts, six uh, eighths of the uh, of the part right there. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, let's try another example. So Willis needs two pieces of string for his garden. One piece will be three six of a foot long. The other piece will be two six of a foot long. So he found that he had a piece of string that is four-sixths of a foot long. Is this piece long enough for Willis to cut into these two lengths that he needs right there, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to shade the model shown, uh, showing three-six plus two-six right here, okay? So this is a number line right here from zero all the way to one right here. And I cut it up into six equal pieces right here. Here's one-six, here's two-six, three-six. 
4, 6, 5, 6, and 6, 6. Well, 6, 6 equals 1, and 0, 6 just equals 0 right there, okay? So it's cut up. All right, so now what I'm going to do is shade three of them for 3, 6, and then two of them for 2, 6, because this is, uh, they're all 1, 6 of the whole uh, number line from 0 to 1, okay? So I did 3, 6 in red, and then 2, 6 in blue right here. So here's three of them in red, here's two of them in blue. So how many of them is that? Well, hopefully you guys can recognize that's five of them, you guys. So we have... Um, we have uh, 5, 6, so uh, write the sum. What's 3, 6 plus 2, 6? Well, that's easy enough. That's 5, 6 because there's 5 of them shaded out of 6 of them. Okay, so 5, 6 would be the answer. Is the sum less than or greater than 4, 6? Well, 5, 6 is definitely greater than 4, 6. In fact, here's 4, 6 right here. 5, 6 is to the right, so since it's to the right, it's definitely greater than 4, 6. So I'm going to put greater than right there. So the string, is his string long enough? It's so uh, his string is only 4, 6 in, uh, of a foot long. Is it going to be long enough to do 5, 6? Of course not. He needs a little bit more. He needs to go to the, the store to get some more string, okay? All right, what else do I have for you? So explain how you can use the number line to determine the, uh, if the sum was less than 4, 6, okay? Uh, okay, so over here, the number line was here. I added up the 3, 6 plus the 2, 6, so that gave me 5, 6. And since 5, 6 was to the right of 4, 6, I knew it was greater than. So um, let's see, what did I say? So how can you use the number line to determine if the sum was less than 4, 6? Okay, so the shaded part that represents 5, 6 uh, were to the right of 4, 6 on the number line. So 5, 6 was more than or greater than 4, 6. So it wasn't less than, it was greater than. Okay, so what what if uh, each piece of string was only 2, 6 of a foot? long could Willis use the piece of strings to make the two smaller pieces so so let's explain well if we did two pieces at 2 6 well yeah 2 6 plus 2 6 it equals 4 6 and so if you just cut that string in half he'd have uh, 4 6 each on that one all right you guys okay take care everybody